Good morning. My name is Tyler. Um, I am part of the VCU's REDCap team. Uh, today we'll be going over field comments in history. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, I'll be going over what a field comment is, where to find the field comments log, and a few business needs for the fields comment and history of REDCap. So given that, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and load a project that we have already created. I'm just going to use a training database. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the, uh, the field comment log. So what that is, is that's a place to put comments into a record. Um, and I'll show you once I get one loaded. So when you're collecting data, you have already put information in and you want a, to put a comment into one of the fields. The little uh, bubble beside the, the column, it says view comment log. You go ahead and click on that and that brings up the field comment log. Um, it shows all the field comments for the record and the field specified for the one that you chose. In this case, I chose first name. Uh, users that have the data entry forms may leave one or more comments on any field for a, a collection instrument. And once you leave at least one comment, the balloon icon will stay lit for that, that field, signifying that there is a comment for that, that field. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I entered the first name of participant. Um, and I'm going to say that this guy goes by his middle name for his first name. And all you have to do is hit the comment to save it. So now when you look at the record, you, the, the comment bub bubble is um, lit to like a, a goldish color that notifies you that there is a comment in the log. To view that comment, go ahead and click it open again. And there is the comment that was written. You can also see who wrote the comment and what day and time that comment was written. You can also edit that comment by clicking the little pencil on the left-hand side and editing the uh, comment in the comment section box. And you can hit save. If you'd like to enter another um, comment in there, go ahead and go to the next line and answer your comment details. And hit comment on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that back open uh, so then I can give you a few little details about it. You can tell that the comment section was edited on the right hand side if it has a little asterisk and it says edited. You can also delete comments by selecting the red X on the left hand side and clicking delete and it says that that was deleted and it will disappear off the screen. This is good to use uh, during a study um, for data entries, maybe not so much for the field for first name, but for other fields is like lab data and such. Um, say somebody went in and changed uh, the data in that field and you want to put a comment to as why that data was changed, this would be a great place to put it. Um, as far as comment history or, or field history, that is the little H button above the balloon. So what this does is it shows all the history of the data entered for the variable that you have selected for that study ID. Uh, the history results are stored from earliest to most recent. So what this is saying is that this user 
made a data change to this field on 10-14 of 2015 at 1.41 in the afternoon. Now if I were to go and change that and save the record, and go back to that field, it will have history saying that that field was changed from Tyler to James. And it gives the current uh, timestamp of when that change was made. This is also good um, for businesses or for data entries so that you know who made the change when they made it and what the changes made were. Um, it also helps with logging. Um, when you see that changes were made, you can see who made it and if they were actually correct. Um, and you can see who entered for that data. It's just a quick way to see the history for that variable for the record. Is there any questions so far? Okay, you can also go down on the left hand side under applications and click on field comment log to see the comments that were for each field. And this just gives a breakdown of all the uh, records. You can do a little filter to say, hey, I want all uh, field comments for the record ID number one and so on. Uh, you can say it by users, you can do it by field and apply the filters that way. Uh, to look at a comment, you click the one comment or X number of comments button on the left hand side of the little table. And there you can see the comments that were entered for that participant. You can also export the entire log to a CSV file by clicking the export entire log button on the right hand side. And that pretty much sums up the field comment log and the field history log. Is there any questions? Okay, I thank you for joining me on this GoToMeeting training session. Um, any questions related to this training session or any other training session can be forwarded to the REDCap administrators at VCU. Uh, you may email them or contact them by phone. Thank you for watching.